Hello everybody, welcome back to another episode of Timberborn featuring Beaversville. Last episode, we saw that our beavers were, as you can still see, very scarce on planks. Our builders were building too fast. Uh, builders gonna build <laughs> episode inspired them a little too much and they just started going off building and our our lumber mills couldn't keep up so i started towards the end of the last episode we built a couple more still got to get the power ran to this one so hopefully they will get that done today um, and hopefully with the addition of two more lumber mills that will help keep up the uh the process and keep us stocked up I mean, we are stock full of gears right now. Obviously the gears take the planks to use. So that is also a contributing factor. But uh, yeah, hopefully these two extra ones, I mean, who knows? Maybe I'll add an another one, a couple more here or something, who knows? We'll see what we do. But we do have plans. They also did start getting their little hangout section done very well. I mean, they've got a good amount of it done. Pretty much they got to get the windmills, the last of the shrines, the um, statue, and then the big stuff. But those are going to be fun to see. I can't wait to see them on those. That will be an exciting time for sure. Now you also have to finish building the smelters here so we can make the metal, metal, metal pieces. What are they called? Metal planks? Metal piece? What is it? Oh, th that requires treated planks. Oh, wow. Metal blocks. So I need treated planks for that. Woo. Well, our beavers, they, they definitely got a lot going for them. Got a lot ahead of them. We still want to get this built to get a farmhouse over here. Let me put that as medium priority. Let's go ahead and get it started. We'll go ahead and run it on three times speed because they already have everything that they need laid out. They just got to build it at this point. We really need this done right here. So we can see how this keeps up with the... There you go. Let's see how the four of them can keep up now compared. Because there's 1.3, 1.3, 1.3. So every 1.3 hours is four planks. The gears take three hours to make one plank into a gear, so I might need to add one or two more, to be honest. I might need to. Oh, so this is where it happens off the bat every time. Why does that happen, though? Very interesting as to why that always happens. Hmm. Wonder if I could do something like platform. See if we can platform those. I don't know how they can get to that though. It's a question, I guess. That other one there. Let me see if they can get that. Looks like there's a little beaver tail sticking out in there. <laughs> Who's that? I can't click on it. Who works in there? Oh, okay, that's funny. See his little beaver tail sticking out while he's working. That's cool. All right, let me go ahead and get a set of stairs here for him. Um, so that way they can go ahead and build these. And then let me add another platform here. And then what I'm going to try and do is I'm going to try to put levee blocks on top of it here. See if that prevents at least that one from getting flooded and it push it all this way. But I will need to add like levee blocks here as well to prevent this from getting flooded. I'll probably do some right here and then I might do another one right here or so. But I don't know. We'll see how we can make it work. Hopefully that will solve the trick. But let's also go ahead and get our other farmhouse set up over here. Let's go ahead and put it right here. 
Dang, we are already on day three, only three days away from the drought. Oh, wow. Um, well, I mean, we're good on water and supplies per usual. Doesn't seem like our plank mans are keeping up still. I might need to add some more of them. But, yeah, let me go ahead and try to add a few more of them. And then we'll get some more planks going. It's definitely unfortunate. Dang, we're, I can't believe the drought is already upon us here. All right, let's go ahead and let them keep building. Let me get some plank out, lumber mills set up for them. See what we can do. the plan for more lumber mills um i mean well it looks like they're slowly starting up no nope, never mind <laughs> just as quickly as those lumber planks were there they were gone just as fast but that's all right all right let's go ahead and get to this drought and see what our guys can knock out drought here looks like they're trying to get some relaxation time before the end of the night they were working hard i'm sure anyone on the rooftops yep looks like a bunch of them are just hanging out over here before the end of the night but it looks like they are one away from making those uh, accessible one thing i just thought of and realized our, our forester is most likely gonna have to start planting some more trees in here so I'm probably gonna give them more birch or pine trees. So that way, let me see, where, where's your, your ending is right here. So, so that way with the pine trees, um, they grow faster. Um, they produce two logs per tree. So if we have a big field of them, I think that would help out help out a lot for sure. Probably put one more woodcutter right there or something. Uh, ba -ba. So let's go ahead and plant in a bunch more pine trees. Let's do all those as pine trees there. And you know what? Let's go ahead and make this little section. Wait, wait what are these are maple, right? Let's go ahead and let's go ahead and make some more maples. Why not? Nah, let's make them all pine. Ah. Make them all pine trees. 
go ahead and get going on that Zerkoi. Just go ahead and add in a lumberjack flag right here. Alrighty. That'll give us a few more trees. We're getting close, especially with these lumber mills here going to be active. That's probably going to drop to under a thousand now. So we'll definitely want to keep our trees and our logs going. But eventually, maybe if we can get some water in here, I can get all, rid of all this, make all of this tree farming, and then bring all of our crops over here or something. Who knows? That's a down the line thing. I'm not quite sure what our builders are working on now. It looks like they're working on some stuff over here. I would love for them to finish this. That's like, get that going. Then we can start building some other stuff like these. But let's go ahead and speed it up, have them going, and see what happens at the end of the drought. One thing that just caught my attention that I want to point out, we have 17 beaver babies. What in the world? That is crazy. I didn't realize so many adults died off. We only have 87 total beavers, but 17 of them are babies. That's insane. Not sure when that happened, but I mean, when they grow up and hit the workforce, whoo, we're going to be back in business. Okay, let's see. So I did want to point out as well, even with all these new lumber mills, they are still having trouble keeping up. I mean, that is crazy. We even paused one of our builders. One of our builder huts are paused. I mean, building lacks workers. Oh, I need a worker there. Um, I don't. I all right, I'm sorry, builders, but I'm going to have to pause y'all as well. We paused two builder huts now. Builders are not going to build. Builders got to go work elsewhere. But man, this is the smelter is alive now. Oh, I need shoot. I need to make a place for storage for that. That can hold metal blocks. Because how many can it hold in it? It can only hold 13. So let's go ahead and uh, dang, 80 planks. Let's go ahead and medium prioritize it. So that way they get that knocked out quickly. I mean, those metal metal blocks are gonna go quickly. We got some set up there. We got 40 already set up right there. I feel like we have a couple other things. This needs metal blocks, 30, that's another 70. I mean, some of this stuff over here, another. So yeah, we got plenty of stuff they're gonna be using metal blocks for. 
Looks like three new beavers need a job. Go ahead and open up one of our builder huts again. They got about a, just over a day left in the drought. Let's go ahead and set up right here for them the stairs to get down. Doo -doo. Stairs. Like so. And that way they can have the path. Let's just try to go. Boop, boop, boop. Alrighty. Uh oh, Forrester and one of them. So let's go ahead and pause that. All right. Got a half a day left in the drought here. What are our builders trying to take care of and knock out? I think they're working on getting that done as much as they can. Looks like it, yes. Still got plenty of gears going, so not worried about our gear consumption at the moment. Y'all are getting pretty far on this guy right here. Like that. We'll have to set up path to here. But also, once we're up here, set up stairs to get there. Got a couple new spots. That's gonna be a long distance. We'll have to set up a path here so that way it's easier travel distance to the um there but our beavers have been working hard knocking stuff out I mean at least they're consistently keeping double digit planks for the most part now so eventually they'll get caught up I feel like we're looking good on paper our paper supply starting to build definitely 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 want this food to go up so I also want to high prioritize these right here so that way all of that can be done sooner than later. Get those metal blocks in there. We can get this going here. We definitely need to get all of this torn down as well. I prioritize that, but that may not even be until next cycle, maybe cycle after, who knows? Who knows how long it'll take them to get there. But they definitely are on their way. Day is starting to come down to an end here. Winding down. Definitely still working hard though while they still got some sunlight. Got about a third of the day left. Third of the drought left. I'm actually very surprised that our food sources have been doing so well. I want to see where they're all going to end their night. Are they going to end their night at the campfires? Or are they going to end their night here on the rooftop terraces? It's been a while since we've watched the rooftop terraces. Let's see if anybody comes up. Fast forward a little. They're all working way longer than their work hours are scheduled for, but... I mean, if that's what they want to do, that's what they want to do. I'm not going to, I'm not going to knock them for it. But at some point, y'all got to come relax. I see two hanging out here. Looks like a bunch of them are starting to come up. Two more guys hanging out together. Oh, not anymore. We got too much spread. I don't understand how between 90 beavers. I guess they like the campfires. It must be cold at nights. It's more of them hanging out here. But their day is definitely winding down. They should definitely try to go get some rest because the sun is about to rise already. But they definitely still have their projects lined up. They're going one, one cycle at a time, one season at a time. And they are just now ending cycle five and about to head in to cycle six. Daylight is upon us. The morning is upon us. The next cycle is now here. Well, the beavers of Beaversville, 
they're definitely thriving. Um, they they should definitely go back to day one and thank their higher power for the incredible setup that they had to jumpstart their civilization to see how far they can go. Um, because they it looks like they have a bright future ahead with many big things going for them. I wonder how they would compare to another civilization of beavers that didn't have the same start, didn't have the same opportunity, and they just had to start from scratch. Maybe they'll find out one day, maybe they'll meet another clan of beavers that can tell them stories about it. But until then, this is Beaversville, and we'll see y'all next episode.